Yo, what is up, everyone? Back to it, Dandy, Tanya, the neutral. Um, tonight we're at episode seven, I believe. So, what happened last time on episode six? Um, Tanya is currently just making moves with her special division team. I think that it has the code Pixie, which is kind of funny and kind of you know pretty fitting. Yeah, the Pixie Battalion, uh, pretty fitting for Tanya specifically, because you know she do be like a little girl. Um, <laughs> it's just still conceptually so crazy to me. Uh, and so currently she's. Uh, kind of bouncing between fronts and just solving problems and making moves. Uh, she's, I feel like she's, and I've kind of said this a lot last time. Um, she just like, well, being X isn't going to let me just chill in the back lines. Might as well just do the war and win the war in Call of GG. I kind of feel like we're moving towards that mindset. And even if we're not entirely, I mean, Tanya definitely is, uh, you know, calling upon God quite a bit as she's just destroying people, right? Uh, oh yeah, and then, and then being X showed up in a uh, in a corpse. That was pretty sick. I did enjoy that quite a bit. A little bit of horror, a little bit of horror coming from the God character too, right? So it's kind of, I don't know. It, it feels like like for a corpse to talk is already like, I don't, like sacrilegious is like not treating the dead right. So for the God figure to do that is really kind of crazy. Um, we also did get these like random two general dudes from the other side. Um, I think it was the other side. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're wearing the other outfits. Um, chilling, and then one of them had a picture of their family. And I think somebody commented something funny of like, well, that's a death flag. You know what, now that you mention it, looking at a picture of your family when you're an officer in war, while you're joking about how your entire like war is dying, or like all, everyone in the war is dying, yeah, you're probably not gonna make it out of this, this next episode or two, my good sir. Um... But yeah, I mean, Tanya really said, like, the, the being X really said, you think you can fight off the entire world? And Tanya really said, try me. Bah, bah, bah. So shout out to Tanya for that one, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much to say. We're kind of just going at it, right? Making the moves. Calling upon God's favor. Days full, days full. I'm a little worried about the whole, like, mind control thing or whatever, though Tanya's expressed worry about that and... She's still kind of calling upon his favor quite a bit, their favor quite a bit. So we'll, we'll see if that starts to catch up to, uh, to good old Tanya here or not. That's kind of where we're at. Um, let me real quick just scan through episode 6.5. I think it was a recap episode. I just kind of want to... Yeah, it really do be an entire recap episode. Wow. <laughs> I love the shot of her in the... Uh, like laying down on the desk wherever that was <laughs> where she's just so tired of everything yeah okay doesn't look like any new content in here though i did check oh wait what's this at the very end oh no it's her just being upset at being ex i'll teach them all a lesson you know what true that tanya true that tanya but why tell me that when you can show me that right so yeah let's jump into this episode episode seven um without Further ado, one might say, I also do got the cool blue a Gatorade. Get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack, get yourself a, a full course, five course banquet meal. And yeah, honestly, without further ado, let's jump into um, Tanya the Evil, episode seven. Should be exciting. Three, two, one. Bang! We're at the port. Is this the guy's daughter? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's like, this poor random guy's actually getting backstory. Oh, she's leaving the country? Sorry. I'm getting distracted by laughing at their misfortune. Aww. Yeah. Imagine the boat just starts to leave with, with her on it, and then Tanya snipes the boat out of the sky. And the guy's just, like, looking at the port. <laughs> okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Oh, it'd be, it'd be so funny. I hope... I hope... Oh, what's your Christmas present? Oh, 
Oh, the boat's fine. I wanted that boat to get sniped so bad. That'd have been so funny with all this like happy, like emotional music. Just to hear a the boom and the music cuts out. Because your daughter's a real one. What a great Christmas gift. Yeah. Thank you, daughter. Thank you, Mary. Woo! Okay. Oh, I wish that bow got sniped so bad. That would have been so funny. Hey, we're actually getting the OP. This is kind of loud. Let me turn it down. We don't get the OP very often. That's kind of fun. A little, a little, what's it called? Like a Jingo Jam or whatever? No, I forget a little bit. I think it was Jingo, right? We'll see, we'll see. The, um, I like the cog wheels too. They always pull out the cog wheels whenever we're going like deep in the uh, computation jewels, you know? That's kind of a fun way to visualize like that industrialized magic thing that I've like, that I've pogged at before. Also, why does she have so much swag in the military uniform? Like, it kind of just works, right? No, yeah, I think Jingo, I just heard it, right? Yeah, Jingo Jungle, that's right. The Jingo Jungle, baby. All right, she's the predator. She's the predator. King of the jungle? Queen of the jungle. Okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down. <laughs> Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy that we, we met. Dude, he's gonna be the main antagonist. New antagonist just dropped? Nah, he's gonna be he's gonna job Loki, right? I mean it'd be so funny, right? He's getting all this like development, emotional backstory, and then Tanya just shows up and goes, bah! and it's over. Okay. Okay. I mean, she did just save your entire, uh, your entire squad, didn't she? Patience is a virtue. We ain't, we ain't trying to please the enemy. You think three weeks is enough? Oh, you think three weeks is enough? He's not smoking a cigar, he's smoking crack. Good point. She really, okay, let me calm down. Men's is sweating. Ooh, a little bit of creamer. Who just saved your entire battalion? Let me take a sip of my coffee while you answer. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Tanya. Oh, she chugged it. She slammed that hoe back. Wait, why is there still coffee in the cup? No, there's not. Just had to zoom in. Good move. Okay, Tanya, we need to orchestrate their death. Or just get them fired. I'm fine with that too. We'll see.
if, hypothetically, Dang, Tarnit, you got heavy footsteps. These are some weak floorboards for the, you know, 11-year-old girl to be making a dent. Okay. Wherever old she is, I don't remember her exact age. Hmm. You're trying to reach up there. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Somebody get her one of those like sliding things. Ooh, new strat, new strat. No, she just figured it out. Nah, I'm just built different. And if I am a nine-year-old girl and I figured it out, what does that what does that tell you about your plan, huh? What does it tell you? It's called the Tanya diff. Yeah, the girl's got moves. And now she gets to be a part of it. Good. Now she gets to actually lead the charge. Good. I bet she wanted that. <laughs> the capital. Of course, the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle of the Fjord. Okay. Oh no, this poor guy is going to get destroyed. Dang, and he wants more people here? Uh-oh, that means there's not very many people here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh no. Do they are they gonna airdrop the mages in? That'd be crazy. Oh they are, that's crazy. They're really Captain Americaning the uh the ages. The mages. Not the ages, the mages. We get in, we kill him, we get out. Actually, no, we don't get out. We just take it. Yeah! In case I die, ta here, here's our girl, Victoria. Good good move. Or lose contact. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, there it is. If I die, the mission's a failure. Plus the, uh, the rest. Good line, good quip, good quip. All right, less good. Chirp, chirp, all right. S tier, B tier, F tier, just like that. It's that easy, it's that easy with these characters. You just go bing, 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 done. Okay, yeah. Meow. Ooh. 
It like looked like a CG 3D model for a second, but then it got real nice and close and it kind of looks good. They're coming in, they're coming in hot. Oh, that'd be so scary. That'd be so scary. Because at that point, it's just like, well, we're, we're done. What are we even supposed to do? I mean, you fight back, like, of course, but, like... Like, they're literally on top of us, and we're not ready. And they've already got us, you know? Like, that, what? A, that's just scary, man. Yeah, none of your uh, anti-naval things are going to work that well, right? Weren't these uh, for, for ships? Yeah, you're done. Oh, one guy's trying to crawl. Good job, man. What are you thinking, man? Oh. Oh man, they got mages here this quick. Okay. That was fast, yeah. <laughs> stop complaining stop complaining <laughs> that's what it sounds like she's so strategic with it oh is that him I didn't see the scar but it kind of looked like him Okay, yeah, they got a fleet coming in. I see. Oh, yeah, because they're prepping for the landing. That's right. So they got all the fleets coming in with the people. Got to take out the little, the shooty guns. Home go homeboy on the other side is already putting it together. I understand. And now they're shooting fireworks. Okay, no, yeah, he's he's a mage. He's actually in here. And he's got his uh his daughter gun. He's got the daughter gun with his initials on it. How many more? How many more? Is that working against the mages? It can, it can err uh, that high. I didn't know they could, you know, that, if they got that wide access movement, we're in trouble. Okay, we're in trouble. Oh no, it's the other guys, my fault. The ski men. There she is. You recognize her? Whoa, whoa, wait, is he he's getting a power up? He's got the god power, huh? He got that yellow in his eyes. Wait, 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 being X, are you are you are you charging this guy up? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Tanya, Tanya, pay attention. 
Oh, Victoria. Nah, he was he was ready for it. Tanya, don't underestimate this guy. Not true. Nyom. No overtime today. Oh, they got all the they got all the guns done. He just realized, yeah. Dang, they going for the crazy arcing boat shot. <laughs> Looking a little bit out of a, 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 a wait, what's that? PS3? That's okay. They're coming in. They're coming in. That's what matters. Oh, oh yeah, the, the, the boats have guns. That would do it. No being x charge, man. You're just going to let this happen? I mean, what's he gonna do? He's one mage, right? But Tanya's just one mage too, you know? If you really think about it. Look at it, ooh. Yes! Yes! That's my boy! You're gonna go 1v1 the boat? Tanya, Tanya, eyes, hey, 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 Tanya. Victoria, good move. That's a funny line. Yo, yeah, you're calling upon it. Oh, he's calling upon it too, I, but I'm trying to... He, he doesn't have the actual gym, though, right? Like, it's different for, for them. Oof. The bayonet. You recognize him. Damn. <laughs> Took the gun, too. Oh, do you notice the, the carving? Damn! <laughs> she just yoinked it, man. That's too far. Tanya, no. It's not far enough, I love it, but like, damn, that's crazy to me. She really just stole the Christmas present. She really just white Christmas secret Santa'd that hoe. What's that game called? White Elephant. Dude, she just white elephant stole the Christmas present. I can't believe she took the gun. That's crazy to me. <laughs> that's the craziest thing. Uh. Good move, good move. I kind of thought man was getting a little bit of a being X power up there for a second. Because I thought I could see a glimmer in his eyes, you know? Like a yellow, a yellow, a glint. But perhaps not. Perhaps not. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. Your candles are going out. Your candles are going out. What else do I have to say? They got pincered. Yep.
I would agree. I would agree. It was a wonderful show. A wonderful show of force. Ah, <sighs> she really stole that Christmas gift. The thing is, like, she just doesn't, she's just, how do I even say it? Like, like, all that emotional stuff, you know, the whole, like, my daughter, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, she, it just, like, and, like, I don't see that in my work salary. I don't see that in the job description, you know? Like, am I getting overtime hours for listening to this garbage? No, then I'm not going to listen. I'm just going to take the gun and I'm going to leave. Like, that's just, that's the Tanya attitude. And I can appreciate that. It's just also so evil, man. It isn't evil. It's just wild. Taking the gun for herself is so funny to me. That was probably the best, that was maybe the best episode they've done. Just because how oh, it full circled there. Of just... <laughs> yeah. This little gremlin. Is she gremlin? I need to, I need to properly define gremlin so that I can prescribe it better. I feel like that's one of my main my main issues right now, right? Man, that's good cover art too. It's like her in prayer almost. Looking up, you know, with the gun. Man, this is like a just a sat this is just straight up a satire on like religious backed warfare. Like all in all, right? I mean like obviously, but it really United States, the you know you not it's the United Fight States. Okay. World War. World War. Franklin D. Thorzevelt is about to make moves happen. Wait, I think I got my history wrong there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Who was the president during the... It's not important. Oh, is this the... Oh, wait, no, is this Mary? Oh, because they were leaving, right? They were leaving. And so I guess they left to the States and then, yeah, they've just realized that they're, uh, she just realized her dad died. F, rip, GG. Actually, GG, honestly, GG. Hey, he got outplayed, okay? He was, he was playing, he was playing for close range and she was playing for bayonet range, okay? That's just how it happens. Man, okay, the question that I have, was he getting any being X help at all? Because look, look, his eyes got that kind of yellowish in him. Did he have that the entire time and I only noticed it during the fight? Because I would kind of... Uh, they kind of were brown. I feel like he was getting a little bit of charge. Just a little bit to make it a little bit spicy. To kind of force Tanya to use a little bit of the god power. Yeah, he's definitely got a glint there. I'm kind of thinking, because yeah, her using the god power was just mad on... It felt kind of unnecessary, but the guy was... He was moving so fast, maybe because he was getting a little bit of that being X juice. Uh, yeah, I mean, his eyes definitely got that crazy glint in him. I feel like he being X gave him a little bit of juice so that he could make, so that he could be super fast towards the ships, right? Which then forced Tanya to use the juice herself to catch up so that she could, quote, bring down the lightning of judgment. And catch up, right? And look, because he's making prayers as well. So I think he's getting a little bit of the juice. But hey, being X favors Tanya because being X is trying to get in Tanya's faith, right? He ain't trying to get your faith because you're already faithful, okay? He wants the Tanya faith. This is crazy because he's fighting for his homeland. He's fighting for his, his wife and his daughter. Tanya's just fighting for the grind set. Tanya's just fighting so that she doesn't have to work anymore. And who wins, right? Who wins the battle of emotional bonds to other human beings versus the grind set? Well, one's got a bayonet through him and the other one ain't, you know? The story writes itself. And then she really goes, oh, you're kind of familiar. Nice gun. <laughs> Yoink. This shot, that shot actually right here where she's not even looking at him, that's probably the best shot of this episode. It's just so disrespectful. Because he's trying so hard to put a cap in her, right? But she's just, eh? Nice gun. Dunzo. Did she tear it out down? Wait a second, that would be too, another level. Oh, uh, 
It kind of looks like she didn't just like pull it out, but she like sliced it out of it. But either way, man's done. So, right, bye bye, bye bye. It would have been funny if she gave her a little him a little wave, but that's not how she goes, right? She's she's just it's like ruthless, but it's like so with such a neutral tone to everything. It's not ever really for fun or for for anything. I mean, sometimes she calls upon God and maybe she likes having that degree of power because it means she's doing her job well, but it's never like, you know, it's just like so impersonal, right? And you, you contrast that with his, this dude's desire to like, for my family and all that. But you cannot pretend to me that this entire opening scene with the sad music would not have been hilarious if the ship just got bombed. I just am still stuck on that. But yeah, okay. So I guess she went to the un Unified States, the United States, basically. I just want to... Because that's going to be a hint for probably um, World War breaking up. Uni unified year, 1925. Unified States, state of Arkansas. We're, okay, so she's in Arkansas in the Unified States. The U.S. is going to get involved. They're going to be a big force. Because we know the U.S. were definitely a turning point in the World War II, if I recall my World War II history correctly. And before a bunch of people that actually know World War II history just destroy me. Um, Yeah. But man, I just gotta watch this 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 part in the beginning again real quick. Just the super sad music, and then it just cuts out, and the ship explodes, and the guy's just looking at it. Oh my goodness! I mean, well, like, why would they shoot it? Like, this looks like the Titanic, right? It's literally got, I think, an American thing on it. It's like an immigrant ship, right? All right, them emigrating, right? And so it's like, why would they bomb a random civilian ship like that? Like, that would just be evil as opposed to, you know, actually helpful. The <laughs> good character Christmas present. No. <laughs> and then a bunch of mages just go, Mew! And they go, bah! Okay. I'm like a seven-year-old with Legos. Mew! Pew, pew, okay, dude. And then somebody give Tony an extendable pointer, man. Right? Help her out. You're just gonna watch? She's struggling so hard. You'd think somebody would give her like a high stool. Let her pull over a chair and step up on it. It's not that hard. <laughs> I love Tanya. <laughs> Tanya is honestly such a such a, the the best part of the show though. I mean that's kind of obvious. Some of these graphics though. Do I need to say it? Like, the sweeping shot, it's like, this This kind of looks like a cutscene from a PS2 game, right? I mean, I'm sorry. It is what it is. <laughs> it just cuts to these, these guys pogging at it. All right. Uh, and then there was, like, one other shot that I actually want to look at again. That shot of her coming out of the plane. This part? Was this a 3D model? It looks like a 3D model, kind of, but then it like gets close. I know my my freaking the quality of my the video I got wasn't like super good. I I I don't think so actually. Maybe it, like transitioned. Well, I don't know. No, I mean it definitely looks good, especially for like this was like a good handful of years ago, right? So yeah, this shot actually looked really good. Oh, I think it's right, oh, it's right here. You can actually, I think you can see it right here. Cause her hair, her hair like actually, I feel like goes from like a dome bowl cut to like actually gaining definition and her leg changes color. So yeah, I think it was a 3D model that transitioned. Yeah, her, cause her leg changes color here. Well, okay. And then we watch it back just like in action to see if we can spot it in action. We're really, I'm getting distracted here from the show, but you know, this is the show. What am I, let me talk about the animation. Oh, because it kind of looks like a shadow revealing. Hmm. I think that is what happened, though. That was a good shot. I actually liked that shot. It was kind of kind of nice. They really do go hard on the uh, battle animation. Oh, Tanya. Tanya the ruthless. Tanya the uncaring. Tanya the Christmas... Tanya the, the Grinch. Tanya the Grinch. Grinch the evil. Tanya the Grinch. Dang. Dang, I don't think I have much else to say. Wait, what was the... Oh, the end credit was the Unified States thing. Um, I think we are going to have a World War break out, which is going to cause... Because right now we're kind of rolling and smoking. Um, 
right? Like Tanya's just kind of wherever she's going, she's winning. And so maybe if we have like the unified states show up, back up the 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 current alliances a bunch more, then we hit a really hard roadblock, and then the party the the party the um our like our homeland throws Tanya against that really hard roadblock, but then it's actually like she's actually kind of outmatched, and then she kind of because you know who like a couple people in her company might have died, but like. No one important. Like, we, we're just being chilling, right? It's not like she's faced heavy casualties and really kind of been brought to the brink ever since um, ever since she, like, tried to fake her own death low-key. Or, like, you know, got the the ace honor thing that sent her to the back lines for a little bit. Ever since that, I feel like she's just been straight chilling. She's she's managed to just roll and smoke every engagement. So I think the unified stage, world war breaking out, is going to really be the, um, the twist on that. That's going to show her some more some more uh conflict right uh, and by conflict i mean like opposition some more like reasonable opposition um which i would appreciate because we do we're, we are seeing a lot of her just rolling and smoking which is very fun to watch and i feel like we were kind of basking in it this episode um because like last episode you know she snipes all those people in the cabin and it's like okay like she's obviously making moves but now we have an entire episode dedicated to emotionally building up a character just for tanya to not even care bayonet run him through drop his corpse into the ocean and take his christmas present like that's crazy to me really good episode though probably my favorite of the bunch up to this point um but yeah i think that's all i really got for this episode on to the next episode eight of course if you like the video like the video subscribe if you're new blah 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 comment down below if you have anything to say or join the discord talk to me or other time of the evil fans there or hit the notification bell so you can get notifications of new videos new uploads as well as streams because that's i guess hypothetically a thing that will happen maybe we'll see that'll be the fun of it it's a mystery no it's a mystery mystery box mystery mystery crate those are popular right um but yeah that's all i really got for this episode i'll be seeing you on the next one peace